नमस्कार टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ फूड ग्रुप्स फूड फंक्शंस एंड न्यूट्रिएंट व्हाट इज द रियल टर्म्स ऑफ फूड ग्रुप्स एंड हाउ इट इज डिसाइडेड हु डिसाइड एंड हाउ इट कैन वर्क इन आवर बॉडी फॉर एग्जांपल एनी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म कैन सर्वाइव ओनली विथ थ्री थिंग्स वन इज एयर वॉटर एंड फूड विदाउट फूड नो वन कैन लिव सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ दैट फूड ग्रुप्स न्यूट्रिय फूड फंक्शंस वॉट इज फूड वाई फूड इज नीड नीडेड एज यू नो दैट फूड हैज अ बेसिक पार्ट ऑफ अवर एक्सिस्टेंस through centuries we have acquired wealth of information about use of food as a part of so food can be classified if we see in the community there are community food is there social food is there certain religious food is there so based on that it has been used for various purposes also if someone persons want to express a love it has been used as expression of love expression of friendship expression of social acceptance so ultimately the food has a various functions in our life not only to survive in this nature or in this world so it has been used as a symbol of happiness at certain events as i said in the occasionally at certain events in the life for example when we are distributing pandas when we are happy happy with what to if any student announced success in, in the examination or if adult birth of baby or marriages or any festival are there then we are utilizing various ways of foods for example announcement of success in the examination or birth of baby similarly laddus are also associated with the marriages in festival also but how this food is made what is the basic existence why food we eat day to day food is that which nourishes the body we know very well but by the definition you cannot say whatever we are taking in as a food in a form of eaten or drunken or solid form or liquid form but everything which are available in nature we can't eat why so by definition food may also be defined as anything eaten or drunk which can be absorbed by the body to used as a energy source body building regulating or protecting food materials so food is a raw material from which our body is made now how and what quantity we should eat and what is the effect of that you can see in the picture also so appropriate intake of right kind and right amount of food can ensure a good health which may be evident in the appearance efficiency and emotional well being whatever we have that can see in our body too so before understanding these there are a signs of food so many terminologies comes in that food nutrition and biochemistry so today's lectures is based on what to eat how to eat what quantity to eat and which science behind that as we know that nutrition nutrition is the science of food the nutrient and other substances that in their action 
interaction and balance in relation to health and disease. Whenever the nutrition comes, you have to remember relationship with the health and disease. So the process by which organism, any living organism, ingest, digest, absorb and utilize and these nutrients dispose of their end product. This definition given by the Robinson in 1965, nutrition is the science of food, the nutrient and other substances that are in their action, interaction and balance in relationship to health and disease. The process by which the organism ingest, digest, absorb and utilize nutrient and dispose of that end product, that is nutrition. If it is asked in the examination before that, as I see the previous definition, what is food? Now Swaminathan and this Burton and Benjamin also give the definition in 1959. The term, the term food embraces which are taken into our body to support three functions. One is growth, another is body, maintain body function, repair or replace the tissues and provide the energy. That definition given by the button and bensami. Now every food has a different nutrient composition. As you know that any food is made up of six elements. First, water, moisture percent. Then, total carbohydrate, total protein, total fat, ash percent, crude fiber. These are the six elements. But which nutrient? Food contains several constituents. By definition, which are known as a nutrient, these include protein, carbohydrate, fat, minerals and vitamins. That definition given by the formula. So, in many books you will find classification of foods or types of foods. Many people tell the food is made up of two things. What we eat, that may be a solid, liquid or Another people tell that it vegetarian, non-vegetarian. Another term comes that all classification I have given here. First of all, chemistry people, they are giving by chemical properties. They are giving whether it is organic or inorganic. Another people, as I said, nutrient composition by chemical nature, they are made up of water, carbohydrate, protein, vitamins, minerals, dietary fiber. By origin, as I said, veg or non-veg, or you can say plant origin food or animal foods. By nutritive values, that can be based on the nutritive value, it can be classified as I said previously. But based on the function, predominant functions, there are many books have given this and it is the proven fact that food having a three function, one is energy eating food, body building food and protective or regulatory food. But in these body building or repairing foods or energy giving foods, regulatory foods or protective foods, that is based on the functions. But certain process people or processing people, they are given on based on perishable nature also. They are classified into a perishable, semi-perishable or non perishable. It means they are classified according to the nature of food materials. So this type of classification of foods, every foods as I said the six elements are there. Every living organism also chemically classified into these six elements. But if you see any food, component of food or component of diet, they are made up of two things. One is nutritive Another is non-nutritive. These non-nutritive components. Now, in first case, I have told you water is a nutrient. Now, it is proven fact. Why? Because every water have a number of minerals are there. Not only a H2O. That I will teach you a later on. Then crude fiber. Every vegetables or many food having a crude fiber that having no energy, but it is useful for eliminating a food material from digestive tracts. 
color compound. Every food, for example, fruits and vegetables, they have a number of colors. With your flavor compound, taste is there, plant compounds and other chemicals are. These are the non-nutritive compounds. But for our point of view or component of food diets, generally they are made up of two things. One is macronutrient and micronutrient. I am asking, I am telling about food, not plant. Macronutrient and micronutrients. Macronutrients, carbohydrate, fats and protein. Micronutrients that we will teach you later on that is also vitamins and minerals. So first we start macronutrient. Every food are made up of six things as I say. Now carbohydrate. Carbohydrate are made up of monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide, polysaccharide and their class. Monosaccharide is also classified into a, a triosis, tetrosis, pentosis, exosis. So triosis, as you know that glyceraldehyde, triphosphate, dihydroxyacetone. Similarly, as in disaccharide, also sucrose, glucose plus fructose. Another example of lactose, milk, sugar, that is also made up of glucose plus galactose. So they come under carbohydrate are classified into a four ways, as I say. Simple, complex and compound. So these carbohydrates are plant origins. Every another macronutrient is fat, fat or oil. So every oil seeds having a rich in oil content. So they contain a oil and mostly try SI. So these oil saturated or unsaturated fat means they contain of saturated fatty acids or they contain the unsaturated fatty acids. Two classification are there. In saturated LM, you can remember like Newman's LMP sub, lauric, myristic, stearic, arachidinic acid, bionic acid. These all are saturated one. For way, example, PUFA or unsaturated fatty acid, they are classified into or polyunsaturated fatty acid. So polypufa essential fatty acids are there, linoleic, linolenic, arachidonic acid. So these unsaturated fatty acids are classified into a mono PUFA and PUFA2, as I say the example. Similarly, these oil are essential for various functions in our body. So one by one we will understand as I say that protein. So protein is as I said, see here simple protein, derived protein and conjugated protein. We will see in the next lecture also. But I am giving you a brief information or functions of that as a component food. The main function of is protein is to building a new tissue, maintain or repair a body tissue. Protein. Protein are made up of amino acid. Long chain of polymer of amino acid joined together by peptide bonds. And these are very regulatory and protective substances like as they are essential for enzyme formation, hormone formation as well as antibody. About 10% of total energy in food material it must be supplied through the protein. So fat, as I say, concentrated source of energy, it gives 9 kilocalorie per grams and it is also composed of, of essential fatty acid, linolic, linolenic, arachidonic acid. Fat reserves, wherever you will find fat, that is composed of fats and the carbohydrates, sometimes carbohydrates and fats or protein are stored as a fat in the body that I will teach you later on. Minerals. Now minerals, minerals having a macro minerals and micro minerals. Macro minerals means it require in larger quantity, micro minerals it require in smaller quantity, microgram or here in microgram quantity, here is milligram quantity. 
So as plant need NPK, C, A, M, G, S for their growth, likewise body needs calcium, potassium, sodium, magnesium and phosphorus. These are the five essential, six essential micro minerals and here is micro. Micro minerals, it requires in microgram quantity as you know that that iodine, iron, chromium, copper, chlorine, zinc, sulfur, these are the micro elements. Similarly, food has another component that is very required in very small quantity vitamins, but it has a specific functions in our body. That vitamins are made up of two things. One is from fat, that is fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, K, and another comes from that is the water soluble vitamin including C and B1 family. So, vitamin, why vitamin is needed for growth and regulation of the body. So, I will teach you one by one. These all chapter will come later on. Today, we are dealing with these food components and food components are made up of that previously I said. Now, variety of food which are available and within the, within the reach of common men can be selected to formulate, uh, formulate nutritionally adequate diet. So diet, every diet is not available in every markets or every places. So what we have and how we can use that group. So while there are only four accepted basic groups in India, there are a variety of food preparation and culinary practices. So as you know that these variety of India having a large number of agroclimatic zones and they having a larger production of cereals and dillets and that are used as a staple food. This is universal. But in the combination, if we see the food habits of the Indian people that made up of cereals, millet, pulses and combination in different regions. Yes, they are also utilizing cooking oils. These proposed guidelines, how much quantity of these oil, cereals, meats and these size of is common to all in many regions of India. But who decide? Who decide this and how much quantity we should eat? So I see now, United States Department of Agriculture in 1959, they have group four groups. These four groups are important for human bodies. They have said in 1956. So within the nutrient con contribution, I if the example of we take a milk, this group, this contains a milk, cheese, ice cream, and these composed of what they gives you in your body. Calcium, phosphorus that are essential for bone formation, proteins and vitamin, that milk group, that meat group. Meat, you know, there are different types of meat. Sheep meat, then cow milk, meat, all having a different name. So, cow meat group that is beef, beef, pork, lamb, poultry meat and fish meat. These are comes under the meat groups and it has a majorly you will find a protein, phosphorus, iron and vitamin B, B groups. So, as you know that vegetable fruit groups, they are highly in the vitamins and minerals and fiber groups and broader cereals groups, thiamine niacin, riboflavin, iron, carbohydrates, and fibers. These four groups were classified as a four group plants for and developed by these contributing a various elements as I see in the food materials for healthy good life or healthy life. Now after this research, they have included another fat and oil pure carbohydrate foods. So after the preparation of cooked and uncooked food, that also included in that. So five group plan, food group plan, if it is asked in the examination, you have to write like this, five. Protein groups, these include protein rich foods, then it includes pulses, nuts, milk, meat, fish, egg. Why these protein groups is include? Because as I said, these nutrients, protein, vitamins and minerals are there. Then fruits and vegetables, green leafy vegetables that fair vitamins and minerals, another for vegetables than cereals, cereals as you know that these five names rice, wheat, maize, ragi, permulate, 
then another the same group is also for group included in that roots tubers roots and tubers include potato tapioca sweet potato they are rich source of starch means carbohydrate good source of protein also there now another portion that is fat and oil with rich source of energy as you know that and it includes oil also so it is a fair source of essential fatty acids and fat soluble vitamin so remember these butter is a good source of vitamin a and animal fat is a rich in cholesterol and source of vitamin e2 so one by one these four groups five group these five groups are classified as these cereals grains and product and who has given this if it has asked in the examination five group system was given by what whom when so indian council of medical research this nutrition expert group five group plan was given by with the expertise of indian council of medical research and now it is being continued in the india cereals and grain products pulses and legumes milk and milk products fruits and vegetables vegetables green leaf vegetables other vegetables and fats and sugars as i say four group same group is that but it has a certain addition in that and that is in fruits and vegetables these green leafy vegetables include these amaranthus spinach drumstick leaves coriander leaves mustard leaves fenugreek leaves these green leafy vegetables these fruits and vegetables at least 300 grams of fruits and vegetables must be eat of indian people or older age or young age people why this is that i will teach you later on carotin vitamin c and fibers are comes from the most of the fruits as you know citrus fruits gives a higher amount of vitamin c similarly vegetables of green leaf green leafy vegetable chlorophyll green colors they are composed of carotenoids and folic acid calcium iron and certainly not fibers contain so similarly also vitamins and minerals are these comes under fruits and vegetable groups and fifth groups as i say fat and sugars so i have already explained four group plan five group plan and now seven food group plans that is also one by ones it has a, these food groups composed of seven so you have to remember go mmbb this go mmbb that includes a green and yellow vegetables then it is also these are the nutrient component orange and grape fruits tomato and raw fruit ascorbic acid potato and vegetables fruits vitamins and minerals and fiber milk and milk product calcium phosphorus and protein are rich as i said previously so you need not to remember but you have to remember these green and yellow now color is come here orange grape tomatoes then potatoes milk and milk product milk poultry fish and egg bread flour it's included in that so one by by one these butter or fortified margarine is also included in the seven group now 11 group classification can also be asked in the examination so these also given by united state department of agriculture and they give 11 groups and these 11 groups must be in your food material and food pyramid cereals and millet pulses nuts all seeds vegetable fruits milk milk product egg meat fish fat oils sugars and other carbohydrates now 11 classification spices and condiments are also included in the 11 group food plan you will not find in their previous ones because they know the chemical constituent of food materials and it is very essential for protecting against the various diseases therefore they were included and now 11 group classifications are include sugars and jaggery too now why these food group plants are arranged by various agency fao who icmr and these various world your united states department of agriculture they have also explained why 
After that, these food guide pyramids include these five parts. Every foods, every balanced diet must be included in this proportion, as I say. Sugar and oil always in smaller portions. Milk and meat, it will give you uh, most of the responses, nuts and oils after that and fruits and vegetables and major portions in your diet. If we see in the Gujarati dish, you will find more chapatis. Then after you will find sabjis, means vegetables. Then dal, curd, chas. So these will include this all, including why this food guide pyramid clearly indicated that we should consume food from each of five groups and should good health. Otherwise, which are at top of the food pyramid such as fat and sugar is in last bondage as compared to the cereals and pulses. Use of food pyramid not only ensures a good health but also helping planning, planning the balanced diet. As I said in the previous, previous slide from starting from food that gives you a one tummy persons that shows you a healthy and one is obesity. So functions of food as I said not only in the previously I have started with food only do not give you a energy repair body tissues or protective substances but it has also many functions. If you see that one by one this is six functions you have to remember. One is physiological function or based on nutrition you can say energy building food, body building food and protective food. But it has a other two functions. One is social functions and another is psychological functions. Every foods has a different functions. Why? Social function if one person is in the marriage, the food material like the marriage. If persons in the birthday, they will offer you a cake. No one offer you a chili during that social function. So psychological functions of food is also there. So one by one I will teach you and show you an example of also that. So physiological functions of food is to provide energy. Everyone knows without food we cannot walk. The body needs energy to sustain involuntary to do work or various processes for continuing our life. What type of works we have to carry out professional works, household, recreation activities and to convert uh, those food which are ingested into a usable into our body or to grow and keep warm. So newborn, the energy needed supplied for the oxidation of food it must be is food we eat become a part of us one of the most important function of food is body building so for example a new band baby weighing a 2.7 to 3 foot 2 kg grow to potential adult size up to 55 to 60 grams can you say how these 1.5 kg or 2 kg persons convert into a 60 kg because of they are eating the right kinds and right amount of food and from birth to adulthood and each day helps to maintain the structure of adult body and replace one of so as i said this is the third functions of the foods to regulate activity of bodies so what what type of activity for example heartbeats then maintenance of body temperature control of water balance floating of blood Removal of waste product and fourth function is to improve a resistance to disease. These are the physiological functions. Without food, you cannot do this. Social functions that already been taught to you. These are the things you can, by picture also, you can understand that every, in Makar Sankranti, you will eat this. In Ganpati or Tilgul is also there. Then Christmas. And birthday, we are offering this cake. Then these are the marriage foods. These are, you can tell, community foods or religious foods. Swaminarayan, 
as well as in certain kathas we have religious festival also called for feast and feeding of specific segment of the population as one person is meeting to the another person where the gender is different male with the female the expression of love friendships and social acceptance there are a certain schools are offering similarly these are the social functions of schools you know very well and i will not go in that psychological functions of food without food your psychology also not become a good so in our literature they are telling that whatever you are eating the ideas also comes as in addition to satisfy physical and social need food must satisfy certain emotional needs in our gujarati also they are telling that bhukhya bhajan na khai this includes sense of security love and attention Thus, familiar foods make us feel secure, anticipating needs and fulfilling. These are expression of love and attention. Certain sentiments are also attached with the food materials. When any death comes, and afterwards, in twelve days or third days, thare or twelve days, you will not find a if the person is twenty-four or thirty-six age, you will not offering a ladus to persons. So these sentiments are basis for normal attachment to the mother's cooking. Yes, this is very important. In up to the old age, up to up to the younger age, you will find a mother cooks and more attachment with that. Then sharing of food is token of friendship, acceptance that already been to a strange foods become a very familiar, new, tasty, and nutritionally adequate. these aspect are important in the food acceptance certainly a certain persons having a sentiment with the certain things also so in india also and in gujarat certain persons are not eating therefore we are deal with the various as i said i have already explained energy eating body building and protective foods how you can explain so energy yielding you can in include that energy yielding this group food reaching carbohydrate protein and 1 gram of carbohydrate gives 4 kilo calorie so 1 gram of protein gives you 4 kilo calorie 1 gram of fat gives you 9 kilo calorie so these group energy yielding groups generally cereals pulse nuts oils roots and tubers and pure carbohydrate like sugar and fat cereals are addition to larger amount as i said in the balanced diet gujarati that is composed of all these pulses are rich in protein content therefore it is included in that nuts and oils that are rich in good source of fat and protein similarly pure carbohydrates are also included in the concentrated form body building foods why you require this body building so protein is only the source for making this body building and they are classified into two groups milk egg meat and fish if it is non vegetarian then pulses and yes why pulses all legumes or pulses or dal are rich in protein content up to 24 to 26 percent similarly all seeds for example groundnut and soya bean they are also rich in protein content including rich in protein but may not contain all the essential amino acid therefore we are eating uh, cereals into pulses cereals are we cereals having a deficit in lysine content whereas pulses are deficit in the methionine content so protection and regulations simply you are eating a food materials it doesn't mean that you are protecting from various diseases so certain chemicals you need for that vitamins and minerals are very essential why this essential because if any person not eating a uh, vegetables daily what will happen to that body maintaining the heart beats maintaining the water balance temperature protective food are broadly classified into two food rich in vitamins and minerals there you will find a green leafy vegetables and milk and egg that having a high biological value now 
I have told you how how I have biological will. If you eat 100 grams of food material, if it is utilized 70 percent, then 70 percent is that biological value. Maintenance of health, that role in the prevention of cancer, heart disease controlling. So some are example of functional foods they are also there. These are the functions of the nutrient and nutrients component of food are needed for the body. As I said, grow, reproduce and lead to normal healthy life. So these five nutrients having a their specific functions in our body. And these six elements including water. Nutrient present in food and their importance in the nutrition. If you see the protein, protein is made up of long chain of polymer of amino acid joined together by peptide bonds and it is contained a biopolymers you can say then it is a nitrogenous substances so our animal body is more moisture free basis if you see that contained uh, more than 10 to 20 percent of that so functions of dietary protein to replace daily losses of body protein and as you know that there are essential amino acid and non-essential Helmet TTV and PTTV. That first first word. That protein during the growth, you require amino acid necessary for the formation of enzyme, blood proteins, and certain hormones. Provided these to provide amino acid, as I said, histidine and arginine. That is essential. Uh, that is essential for the growth of fetus, and it is also in the certain. Uh, uh, for example, in pregnancy or lactating period of the woman require a higher amount of protein. So, carbohydrates, as you know that I have already explained, carbohydrate, they are composed of monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide, polysaccharide, and that is are chemically made up of polyhydroxy, aldehyde, and ketone and their derivatives. Then alcoholic groups are attached that this is the reach or main source of energy for the universe and as I say 50 to 70 percent of energy that is given through and it is a cheapest source of energy as that should contain an adequate amount of carbohydrate greater than now fats and fatty acids triacylglycerols that already give, given you there is some essential fatty acid and fat soluble vitamins are essential for good health and it gives double energy and then Vitamins and minerals, 24 minerals are essential for our body, calcium and phosphorus, iron for the formation of band and bone and teeth, sodium, potassium and chloride, that is, as I said, water balance, iron and copper for the formation of hemoglobin, iodine for the formation normal functioning of thyroid gland, and vitamins. Vitamins, as I said in the previously, that component of food that composed of fat soluble vitamin and water soluble vitamin. 14 different vitamins so far has been discovered and very essential for our body. So these are all about the component of food, classification of foods and lastly the functioning all of them essentially for our body. All individual needs same nutrients for the body functions. Why? The only variation in the amount of each nutrient. You cannot give the moderate or sedentary work or hard work people. If desktop work is there, then you should need a lower energy so that according to the size and activity, all person need energy for work and these are the recommended dietary allowances for the Indian, Indian people and that dietary guidelines given by the National Institute of Nutrition and they is, as I said, Indian Council of Medical Research, they have given a recommended dietary allowances for the various persons and their body weight and how much quantity of energy needed. For example, heavy works you require more than 34 to 3400 to 3600 of net energy. Woman needs more in this pregnant and woman like requires higher than that. Uh, this plus. 350 and plus 600. Similarly, boys, infant, girls, and different ages of that require. So, if we see in nutshells, every person needs a 60 gram of protein, 55 grams of protein for the woman's, 
and if it is in pregnant or lactic condition they require more than 20 percent 20 grams than the normal persons so this is the dietary guidelines of that and why is food now it is proven fact with the food pyramids that every nutrient has a deficit if the person is not eating a proper amount of carbohydrate or energy or a protein then it is deficit in underweight or two diseases protein deficient disease uh, marasmus and question of course then calciums and vitamin d then it will fold into a rickets this osteomalacia kidney if iron deficiency is there then anemia is formed so these are the sources of food materials and you will find this deficiency disease B12, yeast and fermented food, pernicious anemia, bleeding gums, vitamin C. So that can also be asked in the examination. I will teach you later on what food can give C. In our Ayurveda also, they are classified various ways of food material. Vata, Kapha, Pitta. On the basis of that, they have classified a Pancha Mahabhuta. That is also and if you see in the yoga, they have also given me Annamaya Gosh, Pranamaya Gosh, Manamaya Gosh. So that I will teach you later on. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, sir. So Ayurveda is also included. Triguna, Sattva, Rajasa, Anatamasa.